Hey lovelies, I um, I hadn't planned to do a live so I'm looking a bit woolly, just got out of bed actually so I need to wash my hair. Um, but I wanted to, I wanted just to say um, <clears throat> I had a massage on Friday night. I'm really, really tired at the moment from post-launch, doing coaching certification at the moment and um, just in my period and just nobody needs rest so I have been doing that last couple of days just resting doing lots of conscious resting restorative yoga and lying on the hammock and and just resting um but on Friday night I had a massage into my bum <laughs> so a bit odd um and Debbie Gad is, was the masseuse who came over and luckily I've obviously I've built the studio so I, I was able to get away from the family and have it in here and she's an amazing masseuse she um, specializes in scar therapy release work um so she's used to being kind of intimate but um i have my is on but i have been finding that because i've been sitting so much recently which is not me i mean i golly you know that i'm always going on it's it's motion is lotion i need to be moving otherwise i lock up and i have been sitting doing way more kind of computer work and getting all the stuff for the with for the um membership site finished and uh, I found that I was getting compression and tightness around my tailbone and into my pelvic floor and the pain was starting to refer into the sort of the piriformis area which often turns into sort of sciatic pain and it was tension I knew it was tension I was stressed I had a whole lot of technical issues as some of you know um, and it caused me a lot of stress so um, so this turned up anyway why the reason I'm doing this is because um, the release work that she was able to do around the buttocks and right into the insertion point of the sitting bone and the pelvic floor um, has made a profound, profound difference. It was like night and day afterwards, the feeling of lightness and the release of pain. And then I supplemented by doing restorative yoga on Saturday, uh, lots of you know wide leg baby pose that kind of stuff um but really profound so i know a lot of you are suffering with tension patterns around the pelvic floor we've been doing a lot of sitting more sitting than than we're used to and um obviously there's been a lot of stress everyone everyone i know is in overwhelm and um just exhausted so uh for women tension patterns do tend to appear around the pelvis more than shoulders and neck so if you're experiencing numbness in your legs, tingliness, uh, just pain, literally pain in the butt, um, aching lower back. It could be that tension has started to build up right deep in those pelvic muscles and getting them released by a knowledgeable masseuse, somebody like Debbie Gad, is, um, you know, so helpful. And then really doing conscious release work, conscious rest work, i.e. restorative yoga. Um, so I've got my class 7.15 tomorrow night within the membership. It's only £10 to join Second Gate for your Get Your Spring Back special. I normally charge at least £10 for a Zoom class for one class, and I'm doing three live classes this week. Friday, I've got the amazing Nikki Williams, who's a nutritionist. She runs Happy Hormones. She's a very, very well-known um, hormone expert. She's coming to talk on the Lunch and Live. Um, and all of those talks I put into as a podcast into the library afterwards. So um, you can always catch up on those. If you're out walking, you can just listen as a, as a podcast. Um, and I'm going to be doing one maybe next week or the week after with... Mike, my husband, so he can give a perspective on how to talk about perimenopause to your partner and how to educate them on what is going on with your hormones and why you might be the way you are right now. So um, that's coming up. And then also I've got uh, Dr. Mandy Leinhart, who's um, an HRT and menopause specialist doctor, and she's coming on just to talk about modern HRT, how very different it is from old style HRT and where it can help and how many people don't think they can take HRT because of maybe previous breast cancer or um, 
uh, maybe clot issues or maybe family history. And it's so worthwhile knowing the latest uh, research and latest information about that. Anyway, lots of info and I look really like I need to go and have a shower and uh, sort myself out. So have a lovely um, Monday and hopefully see you guys soon. Um, and hopefully you join the Women's Wellbeing.me membership and I'll see you on there. Bye.